Welcome to Immutable Storage Account Tutorial. We'll implement the entire architecture just straight from the scratch. So please follow along these steps with me. So we are at the Azure portal now. We need in order to uh, implement the concept of immutable storage, we need to create storage account first. That is our first step. So let's create one account by clicking create. So this should be familiar because we have done this things previously many times in the past. Let's name container uh, storage account name as cloud guru amit storage account or storage let's select lrs because we don't need any kind of redundancy and we, we want to minimize cost uh, if everything looks good we can create the validation looks good let's click on the create button and proceed let's wait for a while till the deployment is in progress and our storage account is ready all right our deployment is now complete let's go to the resource next step is to create one container because our blob data will reside inside a container right so let's go ahead by creating one container we'll click on the plus container we need to name it let's name it cloud guru amit container we are good let's click on the create button so we are ready the container deploys instantly instantly now we are we need to upload the uh, blob as per the architecture diagram we are done with creating the storage account as well as like the container now we need to import the data to our container so let's click on the upload button next we need to browse it from our uh, local computer let's click on browse for files all right we got our file the file name is immutable let's browse it and click on upload so our blob data got uploaded successfully and now I want you to pay a close attention because here lies the entire concept of um, like the how to make it immutable right so we uh, first we need to go to the specific container where we are let's visit the container so there this is the place where we were so in the settings tab we have the access policy so we when we click on it we got two options stored access policy and immutable blob storage so for this tutorial we are interested in immutable blob storage let's add policy so in the policy if we look there are basically two types legal hold and time based retention so legal hold means can create and uh, like um, read the object but we cannot modify or delete the object same goes for time based retention only difference between these two as the name suggests time based retention means there will be timing involved we need to mention the number of days so we'll check both of these one by one so let's proceed with legal hold first then i'll select uh, block and append uh, blobs or uh, we can select in, in fact none as well doesn't matter we need to give a tag let's make it like file or something we need to type something let's save it so our legal hold is in place if we check the retention interval it sees indefinite it means it's for infinite time now since we have uploaded the uh, object so let's try to modify this we know for legal hold until it's clear we cannot do anything like we cannot uh, even edit we can uh, like or uh, like modify delete those are even disabled so let's uh, try this one let's type try to add one line i'll type one uh, sarcastic line this won't work i know this won't work so okay so let's click on preview right this won't work for preview it uh, it shows right because we are currently try to understand because we are trying uh, trying to read now but let's click on the save button whether it will work or not see it won't work we cannot save it we can just at the max read it right so i hope uh, for legal hold uh, you have got the concept now let's um, close it and uh, um, let's first delete uh, this legal hold we can also edit it here there is edit button right so uh, we can uh, try to edit it but uh, for now let's uh, try to delete uh, this thing by clicking here the delete then uh, click on save so all our access uh, policy is now gone i can make any kind of uh, change now just like uh, a normal uh, uh, blob now let's try to implement uh, the time uh, retention uh, based now let's click on add policy time based retention i'll select now if you look here we have the days here 
so i can select the number of days how many uh, like it will work same uh, somewhat same as the legal hold but only for a time period that is one day after one day we can uh, then do the modification edit even delete the object as per our need so for now let's uh, select one day uh, others uh, let's put to none not required now let's uh, save it so i have uh, put the time based retention right so let's go back to the object once again now let's click on edit uh, now let's try to preview it this is the uh, by default um, cs cloud guru amit welcomes you to blob storage tutorial now try to do the same now let's try to similar line won't work i know so i've clicked won't work now let's try to save it do the same thing won't work see again we got the error if we uh, check the error it's mentioned immutable duty policy it's uh, the operation is not permitted so uh, we know like um, this is the definition of immutable storage we cannot modify it right uh, now let's try to modify it but before modifying just note this thing for time based retention it's mentioned retention interval one day right so uh, we need to delete it let's delete it so now let's say in your project someone wants to uh, do some kind of modification to the blob maybe we can, one can delete it as well but um, for this tutorial we won't delete let me show you let's try to uh, implement the edit part here let's try this one right this will work let's save it see it's green sign now it's saved we are able to save it since there are no access policies currently if we preview it so it says this will work so that is what concludes this tutorial for immutable object storage i hope you found this tutorial helpful